Worship him in the beauty of his holiness. Worship him, Mahi Sakatosh, Calabra, the Aladdin, Sepala Shokata Hula Katoska. No, we worship you, we exalt your holy name. We give you all the praise, we thank you, Lord. We will do what you are said to do in our midst, Lord, this morning. La Kuta Pahala Kosha. Thank you, Spirit of God. We adore you, Lord, King of Glory. In Jesus.
Jesus, mighty name we are praying. Amen. Speaking in the mighty 14, 16 says, Ye are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. Yeah. Neither do men light a candle that put it under the bush, but on a candlestick, and it give a light unto all that are in the house. Let your light so shine before men that they may see the good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. With this might you will say with me, O oh Lord, O oh Lord, O oh Lord, oh Lord, we thank you, we thank you for our season of lighted, for our season of lighted and anointed. And anointed. We thank you, we thank you for your mercy, for your mercy, your faithfulness, your faithfulness and grace, and grace. We thank you, we thank you for divine enablement, for divine enablement and strength, and strength throughout the fasting period. Throughout the fasting period, our strength were indeed renewed. Our strength were indeed renewed. Thank you, Father. Thank, Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus mighty name. Please open your mouth and pray. Oh, 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 Jaha babele de 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 Acts and ye shall be you shall receive that your joy may be full. Hallelujah. We we'll pray in this life. Say, Father, Father, we thank you. We thank you for the grace, for the, for the grace, grace to, pray, to pray, to pray, and to receive, and and to receive answer, answer to all our prayers, to all our prayers, petition, petition, supplication, and supplication to you, Lord, to you, Lord, be all the glory, be all the glory in Jesus' name. Open your mouth and pray. Jesus, mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Hebrews chapter 2, verse 4 says, God also bearing weaknesses, weakness, both with signs and wonders, and with diverse miracles and gifts of the Holy Ghost, according to his own will. With this life, we will not be praying. Say, Oh Lord, oh Lord, we thank you we thank for today's service. For today's service. Thank you thank for the move for the and move. the manifestation, and the manifestation of your power and spirit of your power and spirit. in our midst today. In our, in our midst today. We thank you for impartation, for impartation and distribution of graces in Jesus' mighty name. Go ahead and establish your balance. In Jesus' name we are free. Amen. The Lord has heard and answered us in Jesus' name. Amen. Please stretch out your hands for the prophetic blessing. I prophetically decree over your life that in this year, 2023, your head will not be shut or void of a no divine light and oil. Amen. Wherever life is terminated or cut short, yours will not be amongst them. Amen. Because you are divinely lighted and anointed, therefore your case shall be treated by all with care and favor like a royal VIP. May this season and beyond be your prime time to shine and to make positive groundbreaking testimonial news. Receive supernatural divine favor, grace for visibility before men that God has placed on your path to favor you. All those who will see you and not favor you will not cross your path and will not be on seat when issue co that concerns you is being treated. By the prophetic mandate of divine light and anointing over this commission, I decree over your life and every members of this commission worldwide, divine energy and speed. Energy and speed to surpass your equals. Energy and speed to surpass all family, community, and environmental limits. Energy and speed to overtake your adversaries. Energy and speed to recover all lost 
grants and possession. Energy and speed to arrive and shift on time. The positive result of your desired divine willed expectation. In the name of Jesus. Energy and speed to climax in your spiritual life and ministry. And divine grace and mercy to attract speedy positive attentions and answers from heaven and men. Light, butter, honey, wine shall flood your paths to give you access to the following great ideas, deep insight, supernatural wisdom, access to the art of men that controls oil, gold, and diamond. Access for your life to be flooded with great men and women of honor. Access to the heart of, men, of great men and women of honor and favor. Access to the resources and supply from heaven. Note this. Light is life. And anointing is power. Therefore, by the function of the divine light of God and anointing, I prophetically decree and declare over your life, you cannot be hindered. You cannot be delayed. You cannot be stopped by any man, by any power or forces, be it spiritual or natural. In the name of Jesus, you are lighted and anointed to live and not die. To witness the end of this year and not this year to witness your hand. Premature death is not your portion. No power, personality, sickness or disease is permitted to take your life in Jesus' name. By the mantle of grace upon this commission, I decree over your life and the global families of TICC worldwide, including all those prophetically related, associated, connected to the prophetic grace and oracle over this commission. There shall be no last. There shall be no last of life. There shall be no last of property. There shall be no last of any good that the Lord has given you. Oh, we we'll bless in your hands this year. In the name of Jesus. If you believe that these prophetic blessings, they are your portion, your manifestation, your testimony, you will jump up on your feet and you will shout your name Lord. Please you may be seated. Praise Master Jesus. Our first lesson reading is taken from the book of Isaiah chapter 60. We are reading from verse 1 down to 3. Isaiah 60, 1 to 3. I, I read. Arise, shine, for the light has come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth, and gross darkness the people. But the Lord shall arise upon thee, and his glory shall be seen upon thee. Three final verse. And the Gentiles shall come to the light, and kings to the brightness of the rising. May the Lord bless his word in our heart in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Shall we be on our feet as we take our congregation on him? There shall be showers of blessings.
shower of blessing in our midst in this service. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. We are into the segment of Wisdom Code this morning. Please join me, help you celebrate Jesus as we make welcome our beloved brother, Brother Isaac Osa. Please celebrate Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Welcome, sir, for joining me this morning. Thank you, sir. Firstly, we want to thank our Father in the Lord for this opportunity and for daily blessing us with words of wisdom. We are grateful, sir. Thank you so much, sir. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. On Monday, 23rd, this word of wisdom is from Bishop Duncan N. William. The word of wisdom says, whenever the enemy reminds you of your past, it is because he does not have anything new on you. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. Amen. This quote is very, very powerful. And as for us as believers, any believer who has confessed his sin and forsaken them, the Almighty God has forgiven him. Now, I was trying to check the scripture to find a reference to someone who maybe they have your negative to be reminded of, of what your sin had been. And I found the scripture in the book of 1 Kings chapter 17, verse 18, which says, And she said unto Elijah, What have I to do with thee, O thou man of God? Are thou come unto me to call my sin to remembrance and to slay my son? That scripture just shows the fact that anything that the devil wants to use at all, whether for any predicament, whatever you are going through, he will always bring a negative of the past. He does not have anything new on you, and he can never have because of the blood of Jesus that cleanses us from all things. So whenever you hear something coming from your thought, your thought faculty, just know it's the devil presenting the negative of the past that he has. Nothing new against you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you so much, sir. If devil come knocking at the door, showing you the picture of your past, showing your present state, you are seated with him in heavenly places. If any man be in Christ, he is a new creation. Hallelujah. Your old man is dead. Now you are a new man. Hallelujah. Praise God. On the 24th of January, this word of wisdom is from our Father in the Lord. Faith is the backbone and life line of the believer. Without faith, the believer is spiritually disabled and handicapped. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. Amen. First and foremost, we came into the family of God by faith, in whom we have not seen, but yet we believe. From the very first day, we had faith in whom we have not seen. It means that our journey of this life is to walk with him with faith. The Bible speaking in the book of Genesis chapter 12 verse 1, Abraham is the prototype of all believers who will, who will learn to follow God and to trust him and to take him at his word. And he followed, followed wholeheartedly. Faith in this concept means strong belief, strong trust in God. And this man did it. Now, we must understand this, that without faith, it is impossible. God's servant has always said to us, our Father in the Lord, he says, cry, or weeping, or tears, or anything you want to feel. It does not move God. But your faith will move God. Before I just finish, the Bible says in the book of Hebrews chapter 10, verse 35, it says, cast not away your confidence, for therein lies a great recompense of reward. For we know whom we have believed. For after a while, he will come true for you. So hold on to God, because he will never give up on you. 
Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you so much, sir. Faith is the backbone and is the pillar of every believer. Remove faith from our gathering this place, it becomes a mere meeting. The Bible says, He that come to God must first believe that He is the rewarder who do that diligently seek Him. Thank you so much. Sir. I hope we are blessed this morning. See you in second service. Hallelujah.
Come to work. 
worship your majesty. We worship your majesty.
who call upon your name and your word says those who call upon the name of the Lord they shall be saved the name of the Lord is a strong to us the righteous runs into it and they are saved thank you daddy blessed be your name breathe upon the words of your servant this morning please Lord anoint the words that comes and let their hearts be anointed also to receive your word. Please, Holy Spirit, give us light. Give us access to Jesus. Because he promised us that you will take of him and you will reveal it to us. We ask that you do just that. So that the Father will be glorified. We vow to give you the praise. We vow to give you the glory. We vow to give you the honor, Jesus. In Jesus' gracious name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Celebrate the Lord. Hallelujah. We are seeing the lighted and anointed season throughout this year. So every topic that we'll be talking on will be a subject on that light. Do you understand? So no matter how we title it, will be a subject on that light. Hallelujah. So while I continue on the lighted and anointed series, I'd like us to look, understand that the reason for this is not just for you to know that you are lighted, because I'm talking about lighted and anointed, the two. It's not just for you to understand, know that you are lighted. It's for you to know that you are not just lighted, but you are anointed to use light. Praise the Lord. Now, scripture speaking, in the book of Luke chapter 4, verse 18, Jesus said, The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me. He came for a reason. For he has anointed me to preach the good news, to heal the sick, set those who are bound loose. Now, before this scripture, you must understand also that John pointed to him that this is the Lamb of God. This is the light of God which take it away the sins of the world. But even though it was a light, it was not functioning. It was not in the capacity. He was not given authority to start to function until the spirit take him to the wilderness. And after he had spent time with God, he was anointed to use the light that was in him. In other words, he came unto his own. The first day he came, he came as God and man. 
In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by Him. Without Him was nothing made. So the day He entered this world, He became that Word that was made flesh. But that Word that was made flesh was not revealed until 30 years after, when the anointing came on Him. I said all that to explain what I'm about to say now. It is one thing to be lighted. It is another thing to be given authority to use light. It is one thing to be a light. It's another thing to be set on a hill. It is one thing to, to, let me, permit me to use the word, to have a gun. But it's another thing to have a legal gun, to legally use it. There are people who have guns that they cannot use. They use it, it is illegal. But there are people who are licensed to use guns. Ladies and gentlemen, sons and daughters of God, I want to announce to you that you are not just lighted, you are anointed to use light. I say you are permitted to use power. You are not just power filled, you are permitted to use that power that is in you. Now, what we must understand is when is light when is light or let me use the word when to use light at our disposal when to use light at our disposal now when you are born again you are born light but that light, we said, was it in one, during the week, that you are lighted and you are being lighted. That light you are has to grow. And when it grow, the Bible says, as long as a child and hair remains a child, it's not different from where? From the servant. But as soon as it grows to maturity, it takes authority over the earth. So the Bible says, as you born babies, desire what? The sincere milk of the world, that you might do what? Grow thereby. And Paul went further to say, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in good health, even as thy soul prospereth. The second book of Corinthians, chapter 3, verse 18 says, And you shall be transformed from where? Glory to glory, until you become like the image you see in the mirror. I am saying all this scripture for you to understand that it's God's intention that this light grow to the level where it can display it. Hello. Now, when to use light at our disposal? I will give about six. Time, six things, when to use light. Why and when to use light at disposal. Now, God gave you this light at your disposal. He anointed you with this anointing to use light. The anointing upon you is to use light at disposal. So why and when? Number one, when at war with the enemy. When there is a war, then the gun or the equipment given to you is permitted to be used against the enemy at your disposal. Now, when I use the word at your disposal, at your free time, you anytime you want to use it. There are people that can, there is something inside them, but when they call Jesus, the devil don't respond. The Bible speaking in the book of, is it in the, in the book, I've forgotten, I think it's the book of Acts. Yeah, they said, Paul, I know. Peter, but who are you? So, those people just learn Christ. They were just watching the, the samples, but they don't carry the stuff inside. So, they went to use the name, and the demon reacted against them. Are you getting me now? So, but when to use light as a disposal is when the anointing comes on you. It comes on you to give you permission in the night. We said we sleep as light. We wake up as light. We walk as light. We do things as light. We can never be less than light. But that light inside you is not just meant to decorate you. It's meant to do something. 
And when the anointing comes on you, it comes on you to use it at your disposal. So when do you need to use it at your disposal? Why? It's because there is war. So tell somebody there is war. And this war is between the kingdom of God and the kingdom of darkness. It's not in between men. It's between the kingdom of God and the kingdom of darkness. You must understand that the kingdom of darkness we want, don't want to give way. There are people that are bound in our family that the devil don't want to lose territory. If there is anything that the devil hates, he's losing territory to anybody. He fights for territory. That is why everything God wants to do, the devil wants to sit at the foundation. In the book of Genesis, the Bible says God created the world and the devil and darkness was upon the surface of the deep. But God knew how to respond to the darkness that was upon the surface of the deep. What did he bring? And he said, light, let there be what? And when light came, what happened? So when there is war and if there is a contention between you and a satanic agent, then light is permitted to be used. If there is a, 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 a power that don't want you to become what you want to be, that thing inside you is given for you to be used. You don't need to call pastor. All you just need to do is to do what? Go inside and vomit light. And how do you vomit light? Speak light. Speak the word. As you are speaking the word, authority is coming out of you. So, when at war, in Isaiah chapter 58, verse 8, it reads, Then shall the light break forth as what? The morning. And thy earth shall spring forth speedily. And thy righteousness shall go forth before thee. The glory. So we have said glory is part of light. The glory, the radiation of the light. Glory is the radiation, the beauty of the light, the power of the light, the effect of the light. The glory of the Lord shall be thy rare reward. Thy rare God. What is the meaning of rare God? Rare God means, I've given the example here some time ago that somebody that will be, can I get them? Three or two persons, quick, because my time is running. Can I get two other persons? Come, come, please. One person tried to come and attack me, or just two of them tried to attack, block, block me. Face them. Why we are going? This is a battle. He said that when we are retreating, retreat with me, and they are trying to come. I'm retreating, my red guard is doing what? He's fighting. Now I am going. He said, the glory of the Lord in time of battle will be your what? So this year, 2023, there is no need for you to be afraid. In your going out and coming in, the light will be your red guide. Every battle in your family that nobody has been able to fight and win, get ready. You will be the first to cross the line. You will be the first to cross the line. The only thing that is necessary for me is to use light. What did I say? Use light. Use light. Use light. You, how do you use light? Use it in prayer. How do you use it? Use it in your confession. How do you use it? Speak the word. How do you use it? Speak faith. Use light. Say, keep my father. It don't start again. The time has come. The season that people die in my family has come. Use light. The season that people are healthy in my family, that they are delivered in my family has come. The season of death will be the season of life. Oh, it's as, as if the cold is catching some people. You miss this and don't miss it again. I said the season of death for others will be the season of life for you. Every embargo in your family before, when that this income, the opposite favoring you will be the case. Yeah. Tell someone learn to use light. Because that is, we are at war. When there is an intruding force, we are at war. When a force is intruding your territory, use light. Because light is to maintain territory. We'll go deep in, into it. Number, number, I have about 35 minutes more, so let me rush. Number two, to compare environmental orderliness 
When things in your environment is not in order, you are permitted to put things in order by light. By light, by light. Light means insight. Light means doing things in the right way. Put it in order. When those are working with ignorance are doing things with ignorance, you say, no, things have changed. This is how to do it. It's to put things what? In orderliness, environmental orderliness. You see that in Genesis chapter 1, verse 16 to 17. He said, and let there be light in the firmament of the heavens to give light upon the earth. And it was so. And God made, 8, 20, 17. And God made two great light. The greater light to do what? Rule the day. And the lesser light to do what? Rule the night. He made the stars also. Hallelujah. We have passed star matter. We have passed the star matter. Is the light matter now? He said, when the light finish operating, it make the stars also. Praise the Lord. You will shine the stars in your community. You didn't understand what I'm saying. I said, you will shine the stars. Those that they say they are stars in your, in your school, in your company, in your community, in your environment. You will shine them. Stars are not given to rule. They are not given to rule. He said, make two great light. The greater one to rule the day and the lesser one to rule the night. They now make stars to accompany them. Are you getting me? So all those who are shiny people now in your community, they are praising them. Help them clap because your turn has come. I said your turn has come. All those who are mocking you, thinking that they have gotten it and you have not gotten it, your turn has come. You will assign them. You will assign them. And you will overrule and rule over them. Number three, to compare kingdom orderliness. To compare kingdom orderliness. To compare kingdom orderliness. He said the greater light to rule the day, the lesser light to rule the night. So it doesn't matter where the devil hides. Light will always rule. If you come in the night, he says it's even lesser light that deal with it. <laughs> Hallelujah. That's why you see those who don't have enough light. All their service are praying. Shaka, Satan, Satan will bind you, bind you. It's less light. Are you getting what I'm saying? He said, Great light too. God did not make small light. Say there is no small light. There's no powerless light. <laughs> Say it again. Did you see it in your Bible? Please, Genesis chapter 1. Verse 16 said, God made two great what? So all believers are what? All believers are what? Are you a believer? Say, I am great. So the less you can ever be is great. That's how God makes you. If you don't believe God, that's why you'll be thinking what Nathan Doctor said. What teacher told you. He said, God did not make any small light. He made two what? How many lights? Two categories of light in the church. Any light you find in the church, they fall into these two categories. And they are two what? Among these great lights, he said what? Two great lights to rule. And God made two great lights. The greater one. <laughs> two great lights. The greater one. Among two good, one is better. That's what he's saying now. He said, the greater one among these two great light, we rule the day. The less greater one among these two great light, we do what? And what did he do? He gives stars to escort them. <laughs> ah, yeah, 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 yeah. I want you to follow me revelationally. He gave stars to escort them. Those people, they are clapping for, they praising them. They will be escorting you. Yeah. They will be as coaches. Say, Egmont, now your turn, no. We don't shine our shine, no. It's your turn to shine. And your shining will be eternal. Yeah. Now, let's see, just take this. Now, now, we are too great. That's why you go to places because every believer is a light. And they are all great lights. But the one that is less greater light, they are busy with the night. Hello? When you go to their service, we have 20 prayer points. 18 is devil. All 20 is devil. Every devil. Finance, devil. When it comes to wisdom, devil. What they will use head to do, they will say it's devil. And people think that is the spiritual. He said, look, 
He said, the greater light deal with night, daytime. Do you understand what daytime means? It means they shine where others are shining. That's when they shine. But the less light shine when there is no local, local place. You understand? Ignorant people, where ignorant people are, that's when they shine. He said, the other great light, where intelligent minds are, where men who wants dead companies, destiny, oil and gold, butter, those who control butter and wine, he said, when this one shows there, they shine in that place. There is a switch in the realm of the spirit. I said, there is a switch. Your league has been changed. Your league, ah, some shine in, how they call the sport leagues, category C, A, B, C. Some are in A, B, C, they are the main guys there, but when they promote them to B, they'll go back to relegation. He said, but there's some, no matter how you play the team, they don't go to relegation. I've been watching some team in premiership for over 20 years or 30. Some have never tested it once. Because they are meant to shine where people are shining. And if you are looking at them, they're always from 1 to 10. 1 to 10. 1 to 10. 1 to 10. If you like, buy all the footballers that come. They are one to they are destined to be their place. Listen, your league has changed. They reach to know you only from your house, from your house, from your house. They are about to know you from your community. They are about to know you from your city. What God will do in your life, the city will talk about it. Yes, you didn't hear me. You did. I said, what God will do in your life, the city will talk about it. The city will talk about it. The city, the city will talk about it. They mock at you. See, you never marry. When they marry, now the local people gather. When your own happen, <laughs> sin that call will be there. People that matter will be there. They will sit down and watch everything happen. We don't play with local league. In local league, they carry jersey that they don't put name. I believe I've said it here before. Those people playing in local league, they are just in no name because anybody can hear it. They only put number. But Prima, hey, name must be there. Where you will shine, your name will be written. Amen. Your name will be written. Amen. Your name will be written. Amen. Many years ago, I went to a place. Uh -huh. You know, we live some kind of life before. We had a call sale. Because of some stubborn things I did. When I got there, I saw written on the wall names of people that have crossed there. And I carried something to I scratched my name put there. <laughs> Ignorance. <laughs> and so I went there and they said, this guy too. <laughs> the wall, except if there is cemented, you will just see the people there. Some people put 90, so, 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 so. Look, look, that was negative. But I'm telling you where it matters, your name will be scratched with gold and diamond on the wall that they will know that somebody like you passed through this earth passed through Pama in the name of Jesus stand up on your feet I tend to do six but let me stop in three because my time has far passed give him praise I am lighted to be on top I am lighted and anointed to use light. The war in my family can't stop me. I am lighted I'm light. and anointed, anointed to cancel the shame, cancel the shame. and the relegations, and the, the shame and disappointment shame and in shame. my family, my household, my family, in my community. In my I am lighted for such a time like this. Like Esther showed up and the God told him, who know what God has brought you in such a time as this. You are Lighted to be in this position to change the whole story of the nation in such a time as this. That's what I'm lighted. I'm lighted to do. That's what I am lighted to do. To put an end to the age-long assault in my family. To put an end to the age-long barrenness in the life of people. To put an, a, a, 
an end to the age-long sorrows that has crossed lineage in my family. To put an end to it. I'm anointed. I'm anointed. I'm anointed. I'm anointed. To put an end to the insult in my family. Open your mouth and begin to declare it. I am lighted to put an end to the shame. I am lighted to put an end. Lighted and anointed. To put an end to the curse in my family. I'm anointed and lighted to bring God holiness in my land. I'm lighted and anointed. To compare kingdom orderliness. That's what I'm anointed to do. In Jesus' name. Amen. Give him praise. 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 What stop others can stop me. Give him praise. That's why I carry the oil. Give me praise. Give him praise. I can't carry the oil and be stopped by what stop ordinary men. I can't carry the oil and be arrested by darkness. I can't carry the oil and my light will not show forth. I can't be lighted and anointed and die. Ordinary, I am anointed and lighted to be great. I can't die small, I can't die ordinary, I cannot be caged, I cannot be relegated, I cannot be sent backward, I cannot be in the background. I'm lighted and anointed to be in the forefront where favor and mighty and great things are happening. I'm lighted and anointed to start a new schedule, a series of testimony, testimonial lifestyle. Congratulations news this year. I am lighted and anointed to become what men say. It is impossible to become in my community. I am lighted and anointed to accomplish what others have not been able to accomplish. The realm that others try to reach. realm that others try to reach in your family and their lives will be terminated. You will stroke you will stroke past it because you are anointed to break that shame. Amen. You are anointed to break that shame. Any siege that the enemy has set put place in your family for years, you are anointed to put an end to it. Amen. Say right from the time of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of God suffered violent and the violent one take it by force. By force. And all year upon their life that won't stop others before John can't stop them can't stop them can't stop them can't stop them this year is the year you are going to become what they say you can become Amen. is the year you are going to see what they say you can see is the year you are going to have what they say you can't have is the year you are going to manifest what they say you cannot become Amen. this year 2023 Amen. say it i'm anointed to become what they say i can't become i am anointed to have what they say i can't have i'm anointed to enter where they say i can't enter this year it must manifest give him praise one more time give him praise give him praise father thank you father thank you father Thank you, Jesus. If not for you, ye would have today. If not for you, who would have changed my life? If not for you,
I have spoken to your ears and your spirit have been receptive to the word. Go and manifest this light. Go and become what it is impossible for you to naturally become. What they say it is impossible for you to become. Go and become it. Limits that have been set on your way path. Light shines in darkness and darkness has nothing to do when light is passing. So you will pass and every demonic gas that have been on the way, the glory of the Lord shall be your rear guard. And as you are passing, they are paralyzed. Amen. Nothing any devil can do to you this year. Amen. Go and manifest unhindered, unstopped, without delay in Jesus' name. Celebrate him. got to close this section and enter into prayer section before we start. Hallelujah. We are rehearsing for the third service. Third service and we be doing ministration more in third service. When we get to third service praise the Lord. No formality. Third service we just go prayer, praise word ministration. Hallelujah. One hour, twenty minutes sharp, loaded. Short, sharp, loaded hallelujah it's the service of the supernatural amen when i'm ready for it mentally <laughs> we start let us rest our body this period first amen so we want to take our offerings if you please bring out your offerings quickly we'll be praying for the mantles and the aprons in the second service and if you are leaving this service you can bring your own i just touch it but I'll be doing it officially in the second service. Amen. Lift up your offerings. Sweet Jesus, precious Holy Spirit, thank you. Preach on these offerings. Let it be used for your glory. We honor you with our seed. We honor you with our seed. Thank you, Father, for the privilege to give in your house. It comes back as multiple harvests in multiple dimensions. In Jesus' name, amen. Bye, yeah.